It has been so long since we have talked about the Ace family, and there's so many people that have been wondering what's currently going on with them. They used to post so much on YouTube, and then all of a sudden, they stopped. Catherine and Austin announced that they were getting a divorce. People speculated on if they were ever actually married in the first place. And they're still kind of online, just on Snapchat, but it's been a while since we talked about them. So I figure we would deep dive into all things Ace family, how we kind of got to where we are right now. It is just so insane what has happened to them. Like if you told me that Ace Family was gonna stop posting content on YouTube and they were gonna kind of be irrelevant in a way, I don't know, I mean like they kind of were getting irrelevant on YouTube, but the turn that it took was so insane. But let's get into everything that's gone on. The last time we talked about the Ace Family, Austin was pretending to be broke, living in an RV, begging for money outside of malls, and Catherine seemed to be thriving in her single era. There's been a lot that's gone on since then, but let's go back to the beginning of how we even got here in the first place. Austin and Catherine started their YouTube channel, The Ace Family, back in 2016. And at first, it wasn't that crazy. They just did vlogs, pranks, and challenges showing off their family life. By 2019, they had over 15 million subscribers. They seemed to be everywhere. Sponsored content, collaborations, even their own basketball charity event. They were just this it family on YouTube for a while. But it seemed like they got money hungry and it hurt them in the end because as their fame grew, so did the drama. And it seemed like their want to be bigger and bigger and make more and more money really clouded their judgment and it bit them in the end. One of the first big scandals was when Austin was accused of cheating on Catherine multiple times. There were rumors and receipts flying all over social media, other influencers coming out to speak on saying they've witnessed things, their friends have heard things, but the couple denied everything. They kept putting out this happy family image, but people started to question if things were as perfect as they seemed. Over the years, more stories just kept coming out about Austin, rumored to having been unfaithful to Catherine, and even accusations accusations that um. him and his father were doing unspeakable acts together. It was insane. These were all things that the family didn't really address, but it was clear that Catherine was going to be sticking by him through it, at least at the time. She seemed very loyal to him and his family, even defending Austin's brother Landon against accusations that were made against him when his ex-girlfriend Shyla came out to tell her story about what occurred when they were together. But truly, what really did it for the Ace family and had people really thinking they were full of lies was when they tried to explain their whole house situation. If you've been following the Ace family for a while, then you know exactly what I'm about to talk about. But they were living in this big mega mansion that they kept bragging about. They claimed that they purchased their dream home, this massive custom built mansion that was actually two homes made into one. They often showed off lavish features like the pool, the gym, and much more. And it was just clear like they obviously wanted to be showing off their wealth. They wanted people to think that they just had so much money and that they were the best, they were at the top. But it was also clear that they had little regard for others because their neighbors were not huge fans of them, especially after Austin had used a jet ski in their pool and water had fallen down the side of their house, causing a mudslide onto their neighbor's property. And this was a whole drama that just made them look so bad. It just made it seem like they didn't care about anyone else, that they were just rich and disrespectful. But this house was really just the start of people realizing how calculated the Ace family was when it came to their lies because in 2021, things took a turn when rumors started circulating that the house was in foreclosure. Fans noticed that the Ace family wasn't posting as much content from the house, which sparked suspicion. It ended up coming out that they were facing serious financial problems related to the house, and it was all public record. People could search it up and see, yet they denied, denied, denied. They did not want to address anything. They kept saying that the haters are always making stuff up about them, and none of that stuff online is true, okay? Even though we're talking about public records, like on the .gov website, LA County, like they are not making that stuff up. I'm telling you guys, okay? But the house had reportedly gone into pre-foreclosure because the Ace family had defaulted on their mortgage payments. According to public record, they took out a $10 million mortgage on the house, but there were claims that they failed to pay some contractors involved in the construction and renovation of the home. And by mid-2021, it was confirmed that the Ace family's mansion was indeed foreclosed upon. The property was listed for auction, which meant the bank repossessed it 
and put it up for sale to recover the unpaid mortgage. In August 2021, the mansion officially went into foreclosure and was eventually auctioned off. Now, obviously, this was not lining up with their glamorous, perfect life, but the foreclosure revealed that it was not as amazing and perfect and glamorous behind the scenes with the Ace family, though Austin and Catherine tried to come up with a way to make it seem as though this was not them foreclosing on their home, missing mortgage payments. They had to come up with the craziest story to justify why they had to leave their home. They posted this video claiming that they were the victims of a scam by contractors and that the house was never built correctly, that they've actually never had hot water in the house. They have to use burners to cook the food because there's no gas. It was ridiculous, you guys, the things that they were saying in order to justify why they had to move because they could not say that they could not afford the mortgage. But it was clear to most people that they were just not telling the truth in this video and now the house has actually been taken over by new youtubers the stokes twins live there now so clearly the home was livable unlike what austin and Catherine were saying making it seem like they had to leave because the house had all of these problems but clearly the stokes twins have been there for a while now and they seem to be just fine i don't know it wasn't even the first time they had house problems because in 2018, they were also accused of faking a robbery at their old house. So it seems like them in places of living are just not anything that is going to keep them away from any sort of drama. Things only continue to go downhill for them and they really weren't trying to gain back any love or trust from their fans as it seems like everything they did going forward was just scam after scam after scam. One of the biggest scandals after the foreclosure was the disaster surrounding the Social Gloves boxing event organized by Austin. In June 2021, Austin put together this YouTubers vs TikTokers boxing event, promising large payouts to the influencers involved. This was the beginning of him really wanting to get into the boxing world in an attempt to be like Logan and Jake Paul. Austin was fighting Bryce Hall and won, boosting his ego and his desire to continue fighting. But things went downhill after this event. Multiple fighters and influencers who participated, including Bryce Hall, claimed they hadn't been paid their promised amounts. Bryce had reportedly been promised $5 million, but he said, him and others were not paid. They were just left hanging. The lawsuits then started to come in. One lawsuit alleged that Social Gloves, the company behind the event, which Austin reportedly owned, was bankrupt and had failed to pay several participants. Austin denied these claims once again, always saying it was the haters. The haters are always making up this stuff about us. But it really like it was never the haters. It was just the honest truth. The scandal just made Austin look more untrustworthy and fans were starting to view him as a scammer. There were also reports that their social gloves company was being sued by various vendors and contractors who claimed they weren't paid for their work on the YouTubers vs TikTokers event. Catherine also faced her own troubles in lawsuit when she launched her skincare brand 1212 Gateway. When it first launched, people who had made purchases complained about the quality, delays, and more. But later on, she was sued by her business partners, TBL Cosmetics, as they were accusing Catherine of breaching their partnership agreement and failing to pay certain fees that were owed under their partnership deal. TBL Cosmetics claimed that they had a stake in the brand's operations and profits, but were being unfairly cut out of decisions and potential earnings, and that Catherine was changing passwords and trying to take over the company all on her own. I mean, the whole thing was actually insane, as was most things when it came to the Ace family. Austin and Catherine just kept getting accused of looking at the dollar signs and not really caring about their reputation. And one of the last big things that really did it for them was their Ace family fest, okay? In 2022, the Ace Family announced Ace Family Fest, a family-friendly event that was marketed as this like Coachella for families. Tickets were priced as high as $500 for the VIP package, which promised meet and greets, rides, games, and so much more. However, after the event, many fans complained that it was disorganized and not worth the high ticket price. They didn't even have a lot of the things that were originally promised to fans. Like they were supposed to have performances and it seemed like Every week or so after they announced that they were doing Ace Fest, they kept changing the design of the poster and taking things away. Like they kept taking promises away, even though people had already bought 
tickets. So the whole thing was just insane. It was just this major cash grab and was once again, another time where they were ruining their own reputation. They had also promised people who bought tickets the chance to attend their wedding and get a wedding gift from them and the opportunity to watch Austin's next fight for free, which never happened, okay? Like nobody got the link to watch the fight for free and they broke up, so obviously there's no wedding and they're not gonna be getting that wedding gift. So that's just more false promises that they made to people. But anyway, Austin was also called out because of this next fight that he did because he lost and he wasn't even able to like take the loss. Like he was just being such a sore loser about it that he uploaded this video saying that he was sick, he wasn't feeling well, and actually revealed in that video that he did all this sneaky stuff before the fight to try and get better that you're not allowed to do. And people were just upset that he put other people in danger, not just like the other fighter, but people who are working the event, putting them in danger by fighting in these sickly conditions. But the Ace family just became such a mess and it was clear that they knew it too as they started posting less and less and claiming that they just wanted to take time away to travel with their kids. But ultimately, it was just the end of the YouTube road for them. I think they had just done too much damage to their reputation that there was no recovering it for them. People did not believe the things that they were saying, this fake front that they were putting up, it wasn't working for them anymore. The family is now just not posted on YouTube in over a year. And at the beginning of this year, Austin and Catherine announced that they were in fact breaking up. This seemed to also reveal that the two of them had never been married like they said that they were because after the whole cheating scandal they said that they got married in a private ceremony and that they were going to have a big wedding at a later date but when they announced their breakup at the beginning of this year there was no paperwork legally filed about a divorce or anything like that so everyone was just like all right so you guys were probably lying about being married in an attempt to save face during the cheating scandal and of course one of the biggest reasons for their downfall online was all the content that they were posting with their children as time has gone on people really called them out for exploiting their children as family channels were not seen as this wholesome thing on youtube anymore people really realized what it meant to be posting with their kids online and that people were taking advantage of their children for content and in some cases posting embarrassing content of them on their channel and the ace family had posted videos of their kids crying and clickbaiting when their kids got hurt and it just felt like it was so unnecessary and really left people with a bad taste in their mouth with all the other things that were going on with them. Since then, the family has mainly posted on Snapchat. Catherine sometimes seems to throw shade at her relationship with Austin, hinting at having been through a lot and being in a better place now. Austin took a total turn when he started posting on Snapchat. After their breakup, he was dressing up. He was acting absolutely ridiculous, making it seem like he was stalking Catherine, begging for her to come back to him. He was just out there begging for money. He was pretending to be broke. It was just not a good look, but he since chilled out a bit. He still does. They both still do post on Snapchat very regularly. And that is the main platform that they do post on. But it is just so crazy to see how things have ended up for them. I mean, for years, this was a family that we were talking about almost weekly because that's how often they were getting in trouble. But it sure seems for the best that they've separated and chilled out, especially for the kids sake. But that is what has gone on with the Ace family and what they're up to right now. I certainly want to know what you guys think about all of this, the whole journey that they have had online. And if any of you keep up with them today, let me know your thoughts on all of this. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.